uh, Bitcoin. So there's a few things that are really upward pressure on Bitcoin. Um, one of them is this dollar. So so it, we're at a place in Bitcoin where we should be finishing our correction so we can go up again. And the problem is that we've got all these factors that are uh, bullish for Bitcoin. So the first one is this really weak dollar, which is a big factor for Bitcoin. And the other one is a tweet that I shared uh, that showed how the amount of Bitcoin held on exchanges is really falling and like never before, which means that people are holding their Bitcoin off exchange and in private wallets. Well, I was always thinking that that would happen. You know, if you were an institution or a hedge fund and you've been around the block and you heard about Mike Gox, would you keep your Bitcoin on an exchange? I don't think you would. No, you would keep it in a cold wallet if you could. And then you would hedge. What what these watch these funds tend to do is they'll tend to have a holding and then they will hedge their position in options or futures. So because they have access to those so they can go and trade them and futures. So I think that that's what we're seeing. So we should see increased volume in the in the derivative market in options and futures and less volume in the exchanges. Well, less volume in the exchanges and people hoarding their Bitcoin in wallets could cause a little bit of a liquidity problem. If there are not enough Bitcoin and more enough and more than people want to buy more or if there are less Bitcoin, not enough Bitcoin for people to buy, we could have a little bit of a liquidity crisis, which could send the price parabolic. So when people talk about, you know, what on earth would drive Bitcoin all the way up there? I have to say, I think that um, a liquidity crisis could do it. So now for now, though, short term in Bitcoin, we've got to, I've got a 15 minute chart on. We've got to solve the problem of uh, this correction not being big enough. So if I measure from this high to this low, the first 61.8 level that we come to that we would kind of be enough of a correction or a minimum correction is down here at um, 17,850 in Binance prices with Tether. 17,850. And if I look at this swing that we're doing here, which I need to move up now, I think, uh, or I'll move anyway. So this is A, B. If we've stopped here, uh, hold on. So we go A, B. Does it line up? Yeah, this is where the equal measured move is from this high. So now, although we have some interim support that people might try and buy at the previous lows, here at 18,500, I think that our leave a little bit of an order to buy some level should be um, between 17,850 and 17,900. That's where I think that the main first major support will be and if we continue down i think that we'll retest these lows potentially but nothing else kind of lines up as quite the same so and let's face it uh do you know i haven't measured this quite right let me it's not quite as clear cut as i said my apologies 17500 to 17800 is our sort of buy zone i think the problem is if we stop here at this hourly 200 moving average, it won't be enough of a correction for this swing if this is the irregular flat that I think it is. Now it could, with this correction, if everything, if the dollar takes a breather, because it's had a quite a big move in one direction, if the dollar has a little bounce, uh, this would trigger it. But we still need one more swing lower. And until we do it and we get our bullish reversal, there's not much we can do. So this morning we were talking about retesting the highs let's go back to the hourly and we'd been looking at this we've been looking at 50 percent of the daily candle and this 61.8 level so let me do this differently so from this low um, like this so we've gone from this low to this high this 61.8 level was our resistance that we kept looking at and said if we closed above it, four hour close above it, 
we're going to retest the highs and do a big ABC up here. We had a little breakout, but if we look under the hood here on the 15 minute, now we if this is a breakout, it needs to turn around and go up here. So wait for the breakout, wait for the pullback. And if it does this, if we hold here, we will go up and retest 19,800 again. And then our calculations of where our correction finished will change a little bit maybe. Um, but if we don't, if this was a false breakout, which Bitcoin loves, and we've just double topped here, then that will be that, or just lower high even. So it will all, all, all will happen on, all, all will depend on this retest, whether we continue lower from here. Remember, first thing in the morning in the European session, what we very often see is the high or the low today and the, of the day in the first move, the first little move is very often the false move in the wrong direction. So this is the retest that if we were going to buy just for this little swing, you know, it's only $600, isn't it, from here to here. But if you were going to buy the six up short term f to see what happens on a retest of a high, that's what you'd be looking for here, you know, on a 15 minute or a five minute chart. See if we um, make a little ABC and then turn up again. Uh, so that's where we are with Bitcoin.